a friend of mine just emailed with some interesting information. He has a Chevy Equinox EV. When he bought it, the range rating was 300, 319 miles. Now you would think, right, you own a vehicle, you drive 40,000 miles, you'd get a little bit of battery degradation. However, it turns out a lot of Chevy Equinox owners are not getting battery degradation. In fact, for some weird reason, their cars are actually getting better, as in the range is increasing. How the hell is this happening? Well, I think I have an explanation. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I should point out a few other examples as well we have, right? We know that there was a Volkswagen ID3 tested. Long range tests showed that after 160,000 miles of use, the battery still had 91% of its original capacity. That's pretty damn good. 190,000 miles. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Now there's also a Hyundai Ioniq 5 that did 410,000 miles in only three years. How the hell is that even possible? Three years. I mean, that's 100, nearly 140,000 miles a year. That's like driving uh, 580 kilometers or 360 miles every single day for 1,000 days straight. So the remarkable thing is that battery pack retained the well, it retained 87.7% of its original capacity after 410,000 miles, 80, or well, 88%. Amazing results. Now, the crazy thing is his battery, which he had tested, was saying his Equinox EV1 LT at 23,000 miles was getting range of 300 and 369 miles per charge, 369 miles. So that's 50 miles more than is advertised by General Motors. That's very unusual for an electric car. How the hell is it doing that? And especially after it's already done a significant amount of miles, 23,000 miles. Now get to the 40,000 mile mark and now it's averaging 361 to 363 miles of range. Still pretty close to the same number, even after 40,000 miles. Now, all of this sounds pretty wild, doesn't it? It sounds like it shouldn't be possible. However, I checked online, spoke to a few other Equinox owners, and they're not saying the same exact numbers, but they're saying pretty similar figures. They're getting nearly 50 miles of range more than Chevy are claiming for the Equinox EV. 50 miles more range. How the hell is this happening? And then I thought back to myself, hang on a minute. Wasn't there a Silverado electric pickup truck which was claimed to be able to do 450 miles of range, people tested it and it did 500. Now in that test, what actually happened was the range figure said it would be at zero, but after it hit zero, it kept driving for another 50 miles before it actually died. It appears that General Motors is massively understating the range and capacity of its batteries. It appears that they're actually factoring in a buffer of 50 miles after the cars technically hit zero. In other words, the chances of you running out of juice in your Chevy Equinox or your Chevy Silverado EV are pretty damn slim considering at zero, you've still got nearly 50 miles of range left. Well, it appears about 50 miles of range. So this is incredible. And what's incredible about this is the fact that it still has, these cars still have 50 miles of range in a, in in reserve, even after doing 40,000 miles. So in other words, there's zero, well, it appears there's almost zero battery degradation. Now I don't think there's zero, there's probably a couple of percent, but it's very, very minimal. And this leads me to say to General Motors, man, this is phenomenal. This is talk about, talk about huh, under promising and over delivering. This is the absolute epitome of that. And I, I think this is a really cool thing to do for customers. I mean, imagine, you get told your range and instead of complaining, oh, my range is lower, which is a lot of people, well, a lot of people do this. Uh, and I understand why they do. My range is lower, my range is lower. You're actually thinking to yourself, why am I getting more range every time I drive this car? This is unreal. 
So, you know what? Kudos to Chevy. Kudos, of, of course, also to Volkswagen and Hyundai for the incredible battery management software that they're using, which is enabling their cars to get uh, to have very little battery degradation after being driven for a long time. Now, I should say this does apply to a lot of different models of car now. The battery management systems on EVs have massively improved and therefore battery degradation is something I don't think we really need to be all that concerned about anymore. I, I really think in most cases, your battery is going to outlast the life of your car. Now, I should also mention as a little afterthought afterward that um, Tesla cars often, when you hit 0%, will still give you 20 to 30 miles of range. That's very, very normal for Teslas. My Xpeng G6 does the same thing. I got about 30 kilometers of range um, getting to a supercharger. It said zero and I was able to keep driving for about, I think it's about 27 extra kilometers. So I'm, I don't know when I was going to die. It might've died very, very soon after that, but a little bit of extra range built in is a really, really cool feature to have. Guys, what are your thoughts? Have you experienced anything similar to this? Has your experience been the opposite or has it been like this? Let us know in the comments. And even, even send me an email, contact at electricviking.com. Let me know your experiences. And um, if they're you know worth sharing, I'll put it out there. Thanks for watching. General Motors just announced their best month in history in electric car sales. But they say they are bracing for a drastic fall in sales next month. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. General Motors has been the number two EV brand in the United States this year behind only Tesla. That position was reaffirmed in August 2025 with the automaker's best ever EV sales month. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. General Motors delivered more than 21,000 electric cars, surpassing its July record of 19,000. It's likely to surpass that number as well again in September. August was our best month ever for EV sales, and we expect that buying, that buying surge to pay long-term dividends, given our industry-leading manufacturer loyalty and EV customers' overwhelming commitment to the technology, said Duncan Eldred, GM's North America president. 